guys, it's your girl Hey Paris here and I'm super stinking excited to do this review with you guys. I feel like I've been waiting forever for Drake to drop this project. If you didn't know, I am a candle fanatic. Along with perfumes, I collect candles like nothing else. Every single room in my house has a candle. More than one candle actually in every single room. It's actually quite ridiculous. My mother, when she comes over, is always like, give me a candle and I'm always like, buy your own because I do not play about my candles. I get mad when people burn my candles without asking me like it's a serious serious addiction y'all do not understand But I feel like I've been waiting forever for Drake to drop this project and he finally has so obviously your girl had to buy every single candle that was available every single one How could I not and to be honest? I think that I was the first person to order these candles because the launch of the website was at a certain time and I was just like very antsy and Impatient and I went on the website and I was able to order the candles before Drake even announced that the website was up and running. I don't know if it was a glitch with the website or what, but I 100% think that I was the first person to order these candles, okay? And I'm not mad about it. And they came super fast. I ordered them and they came two days after I ordered them, okay? So when they run out, I can get more if I like them, but that's what we're figuring out today, if I like them and if I will be repurchasing. And apparently one of these candles smells exactly like Drake. I feel like I'm gonna make a whole separate video on that one specific candle, because why not? <laughs> Everybody wanna know what Drake smells like, the fuck? But enough of me talking. Let me get my jacket off real quick and let's unbox these candles. Oh, so this box is actually really heavy, to be honest with you. And it just came in a big brown box like this that has the Better World Fragrance House logo tape all around it. And I am ready to open. I'm so like nervous for what reason, I don't know. I, I just don't even wanna open the box. Like, this is so exciting to me. Candles just always make me happy. And Drake, if you guys didn't know, is one of my favorite, favorite artists. Obviously, I'm from Toronto, so I don't think there's a person in Toronto who isn't an admirer of Drake. And if y'all have been watching my channel for a while now, or you guys are subscribed to my beauty channel, you guys know I spend, I spend bands in the OVO store when they release female clothing that I like, like I spend buckaroos. But to be honest, I'm more excited about this than I am about OVO lady releases. Am I even opening this the right way? Like, I don't even know. I feel like this is the worst way to be opening this package right now. Okay, hold up. Ooh, okay, I got it. All right, so we're gonna open it up now. Can I smell anything through the box? I can. It smells like a man. Okay, I opened the box and the box just smells like a man. I don't know how to explain. It just smells like a, like a nigga. It smells like a nigga. So there you go. The brand is Better World Fragrance House. And everything is packed pretty neatly, if you ask me. Wow, okay, the smells are exuding through the packaging. Look, it's not even open yet, but I can smell everything. So to recap, I got one of each candle. So they released a total of five candles. Williamsburg Sleepover, Sweeter Tings, Muskoka, Good Thoughts, and Carby Musk. I hope I said all those right. Anyways, let's take our first candle out. Okay, hold on. This. <laughs> This already smells so, listen, how am I smelling you through the packaging? This is literally sealed with plastic and I can smell the absolute fuck out of this candle. And the packaging is actually really sleek. Like it's very minimalistic and just to the point. You know what I mean? With the little logo on the top. Okay, I'm just gonna take them all out of this brown packaging and then we'll open them one by one and keep it going. I'm so, can you see how excited I am right now? Like the smell that my house is about to smell like? I can't deal. So the first one I opened was Good Thoughts. We also got Sweeter Tings, Muskoka, Carbide Musk. But not fall, bitch. And Williamsburg sleepover. Y'all give me a second while I do a little Instagram story because. Okay, now that I'm done with that, let's finally get to smelling these candles. Except for the one that smells like Drake because we are gonna do a whole separate video on that. So the first candle we are going to open up is Muskoka, which I assuming is a play on words for Muskoka. I could be wrong, I don't know. But regardless, I cannot wait to smell these so I'm done talking. And I know you guys are tired of me talking as well, so let's just open this up and get to smelling. Mm. 
There she is, oh my gosh. A velvet lining, okay Drake, okay Drizzy. I can smell it from here, I can. But I'm trying to ignore the smell while I just take a look at this really quick. It comes with a what, what is this? A little pen, what is this? So this was in the packaging, I'm assuming it's like a pen or a marker or something. Oh snap, okay I get it. Look, look at this, <laughs> I'm slow. It says Muskoka 4 and then you could use the marker to write who it's for and give it to them as a gift. That's cute, I like that. But let's take it out of the packaging really quick. This is pretty heavy. You can tell it's a luxury candle. Let's go ahead and smell it. Okay, this is a very like manly scent to me. It smells like, it smells like a man that just came out of the shower, but for some reason the shower is in the woods. Yeah, so it just smells like a man that is like taking a shower in the woods. I could smell like a woody, really masculine, sexy scent. It smells like when you hug a very attractive man. Like it just smells very masculine, very clean, very woody, just a really sexy masculine sense is how I can describe this but it smells really 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 good like it smells really good and the marker just goes back in just like that so cute I like that next we're smelling Williamsburg sleepover again it has the same little marker so you can gift it to someone or write whatever you want to write on the candle itself and let's smell it Oh my gosh, wait, hold on. This is the one, this is the one. Hold on, wait a minute. I don't even know how to describe this to you guys. Like this is the most unique smelling candle I've ever smelled in my life. And it smells like it smells really good. I'm not exaggerating when I say right now that this is probably top five best candles I've ever smelled in my entire life. And it's super, super unique. It almost smells like a cologne. It almost smells like when like a rich nigga walks by you. That's what it smells like. This is not the one that smells like Drake. I hope not. No, it's not. But I would assume Drake smells like this. Like, this smells like a rich nigga. It smells expensive. It smells luxurious. It smells... It smells like wealth. Like, I don't know how else to explain it to you guys. It smells like a really, really expensive cologne. And it's very strong and, like, bold. It's just different. And I fucking love it. Like, it smells so stinking good. I don't think I want to ever burn this, but I'm gonna have to. I don't even want to put this one down. I just want to hold this to my nose for the rest of the video. Holy shit. Oh my gosh, okay. Muskoka, I feel you, it smells like a man. But this smells like a rich man. It smells like a rich, 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 wealthy man. And that's the only way I could describe it. That is literally the only way I could describe this one. Williamsburg sleepover. Okay, Williamsburg, I see you. Next, we are trying Sweeter Tings. And this is one of the candles where the name was like, yeah, I can't wait to smell it. So, enough talking. Oh yes, oh yes. Okay, so you see how that one smelled like a rich nigga? This is some rich bitch shit. It's like he put Beyonce in a candle. Like this is a billionaire bitch candle. It smells like Prada. It smells like Fendi. It smells like Chanel bitch Versace. This smells too expensive to be Gucci. Like this is top notch. Balenciaga, Alexander McQueen, Giuseppe type shit. Like this is different. Okay, I need this in a perfume. I need this in a perfume. I need to wear this every day. This smells like wealth, health, and prosperity. Prosperity. Definitely top two and I haven't even smelled the rest of them yet. This is the one. Moving on to good thoughts. I have a feeling this is gonna be really subtle and like nice and just like a vibe. Like very cozy, comfy. Let's see. Oh wow, oh my, okay, it's weird. This is weird, this is weird. Okay, I just smelled this candle and I was reminded of my mother. Don't ask me why, it smells like, this might sound weird, I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. It smells like my mom when I was young. Like it smells like a perfume she used to wear when I was really young. So I guess Good Thoughts is like the perfect name for this, honestly. It smells very clean, almost like a soap but also a, like a powdery perfume that my mother used to wear when I was like six years old. And that dead ass brings back good thoughts. So this is the perfect name for this candle. It's almost making me emotional. Is that weird? It's weird. It's literally almost making me emotional. It smells like my childhood. Wow, I don't, I don't even know what to say. It just smells really, really good. It smells clean, it smells fresh. It smells like a powdery perfume or like when my mom used to put powder on her chest and I would lay on her chest. Like, I don't know guys. I'm just trying to be as, 
as descriptive with the scent as I possibly can and that's what it smells like. It smells like motherly love or at least my mom's love. I don't know. It smells really, really good though. And they say that like fragrances and smells bring back really good memories. So I find it really ironic that this is called Good Thoughts and like it reminds me of my mom. And don't get it twisted. My mom is not a musky ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like my mom don't be smelling nasty and nothing like that. She smells good. So it's, it smells it smells really good. Like this is a really good smelling perfume. Perfume? Bitch, it might as well be a perfume. It's a candle though. It smells really good. And the last one is the one that is supposed to be smelling like Drake. So if you are excited and wondering what this candle smells like, tune in to my next video. It's going to be posted the same day as this video so you don't have to wait. But it's specifically going to be like a really short video on just this candle by itself because I know a lot of people are anticipating on what it might smell like and they want to hear people describe what it smells like because they are wondering what Drake smells like, I guess. But before I end this video, I cannot finish this video without burning one of these candles and letting it burn for at least, I'm gonna say two to three hours and then coming back and letting you guys know if it has filled the room, if it smells as good as it smells in the packaging and all of that. So I'm gonna burn, I'm gonna burn sweeter tings. I'm gonna burn sweeter tings and let you guys know how it filled the room, how fast it filled the room and if it smells the same as it does in the candle. So I'll see you guys in two hours, but two hours for me is one second for you, so. Okay, so this has actually been burning for less than an hour and let me tell you that the entire room smells absolutely delicious. I went downstairs, I don't know if the scent went through the vents, but I could smell it in my kitchen as well, in my living room. So it's basically spread throughout my house in less than an hour. I honestly cannot say that any candle has spread throughout my house this fast before ever and it smells better than what it smells like before burning it when it's burning like you can actually smell the boldness of this candle a hundred percent worth the money like i'm literally so impressed by the quality and strength of the fragrance that are inside. I don't know what he did, but he did something, baby. He did something. It's it's popping. It's, <laughs> it's popping, like for real, for real. And I'm not sure what the burn time on this is, but normally for any other candle, it would have a bigger puddle by now. And this is burning really slow and really nice. And the scent is going throughout my house, like I said. So I am 100% happy with my purchase. And I will 100% be repurchasing once these candles are finished. Cause damn. Thank you guys so much for watching this review on the Better World Fragrance House candles. All in all, love them to death. I think they were definitely worth the money. They are luxury candles. That's why they are more expensive than if you were to go to Bath and Body Works or something. But if you're into candles the way that I'm into candles, you shop for candles at like Holt Renfew or The Bay if you live in Canada. Like high end department stores and you know that luxury candles run for around this price. And of course, not everyone can afford candles candles that are priced this much, but if you can afford it, definitely worth the buy. 100% worth the buy. I'm praying and hoping that they release more scents because I know once these are done, I'm going to be repurchasing them and waiting and waiting and waiting for new scents to come out. Anyways, guys, leave a comment down below and let me know if you got anything from the Better World Fragrance House collection. And if you did, what was it? And how did you like it? And remember, once you're done watching this, definitely go check out my other video on the specific candle that smells like Drake. So you know exactly what it smells like and if you should buy it for yourself it's a bit more pricey than the rest of the candles but that's for obvious reasons anyways guys make sure you follow me on snapchat twitter tiktok all that's in the description box down below for your convenience i love you guys so much for watching so i'm gonna tell you twice and i'll see you on the flip side toodles